Rear image shows the Giza Sphinx entrance to the sealed lost library of knowledge. The Grey Sphinx of Giza, and this is of course one of the, look how much sand was over there. It's all buried under sand. The rare image shows, uh, is without a doubt one of the most enigmatic ancient monuments on the planet. And you can see the arrow showing us the hole on top of the head. This magnificent, magnificent ancient wonder of architecture remains one of the few ancient monuments that no one has bothered to investigate. And generally, few scholars have been made uh, of its uh, mysterious, history, mysterious history. The Great Sphinx of Giza holds the record as the largest monolith statue on the surface of our planet. The Great Sphinx is believed to have been discovered in 1817 Initially, a part of it is the first in the first modern archaeological excavation led by Giovanni Battista Caviglia. After a few decades, it was excavated and the entire Sphinx was revealed in 1925 to 1936 by an archaeological expedition led by Emile Barres. Many researchers have suggested that the Sphinx is a monument that is incomplete. However, its incredible size and mysterious beauty are not the only things perplexing the researchers. The fact that scholars have no idea who created this majestic monument is just one mystery of the Great Sphinx. There are countless speculations, such as a connection to lost civilizations and extraterrestrial beings. In fact, there is some. there are some scholars, such as Mark Lenner, who said that there is an alignment between the Great Sphinx, the Pyramids of Giza, and the constellation of Leo and Orion. However, perhaps the greatest mysteries lie within and beneath the Sphinx itself. Many researchers believe that there are many chambers located within and below the Sphinx. Some have even suggested that the fabled Hall of Records lies directly beneath the mysterious ancient monument, and these records are said to hold the key to understanding our culture and the true history of mankind. Mythologically, it's said to be a library buried somewhere in Egypt, and many people believe it could be under the enigmatic Sphinx of Giza. The Hall of Records is said to house the knowledge of the ancient Egyptians in papyri and is believed to contain the history of the lost continent of Atlantis as well as Atlantis's location. The Egyptian Hall of Records was just like the Great Library of Alexandria. Some researchers believe that the Hall of Records exists and it was built by the ancient Egyptian civilization. And there are others who believe that the hall exists but was not built by the ancient Egyptians, but rather by a much older ancient civilization in ancient Egypt. Curious, there are many extremely rare and old photographs of the Sphinx showing what appear to be several entrances to the enigmatic monument. These entrances are believed to lead to corridors that eventually reach chambers beneath the Sphinx. There's also one behind, there's also an entrance behind the uh, right ear of the Sphinx as well. But now we're talking about the hole on top. These entrances are believed to lead to corridors that eventually reach the chambers under the Sphinx. And these chambers have long been associated with the mysterious underground lost library of ancient texts with the unknown history of mankind. In the book Messenger of the Sphinx, Graham Hancock writes that the Egyptian government and American archaeologists have blocked any research around or under the Sphinx, preventing anyone from discovering what lies beneath the Sphinx. Several photographs show that there is a strong indication that there are corridors leading to unexplored chambers beneath the Sphinx. And interestingly, Charles Thompson, who explored the Sphinx in 1733, mentioned entrances and a hole in the upper back of the Sphinx Rare images of the Sphinx show many masked anomalies. There are images of the Sphinx showing a huge crack above the hips of the Sphinx, hypothesized to lead a, uh, to a funeral chamber. And according to Secret History, uh, wikia.com, there is documented evidence of an entrance at the top of the hips on the back of the Sphinx. This entrance is also mentioned to many tourists of the Sphinx. Professor Robert Temple uh, inside uh, took uh, uh, did the research on the caverns at the back of the Great Sphinx. There are also reports of many excavations being halted by the Egyptian government for national security reasons. 
One of the best examples being the enigmatic labyrinth discovered in 2008 by Belgian and Egyptian researchers. The underground temple consists of over 3,000 rooms. 3,000 rooms, which are filled with incredible hieroglyphs and wall paintings. The enigmatic underground complex is located less than 100 kilometers from Cairo, not far from the pyramid. The results of the research were published in 2008 in the scientific uh, journal. However, the findings do not announce any further announcements about the discovery and, and, and that the, the discoveries were stopped with sanctions from the Egyptian government because of the well-known national security. Maybe they were, they were afraid, it's just my comment, maybe they were afraid that uh, it would take away the uh, glory of the ancient Egyptians uh, building this and put it further back to before the Egyptian pharaohs. For example, the Atlanteans. So please leave your comments about this and thank you for your support. They do confirm that there is an underground city, just like uh, the ancient Greek uh, historians stated, that there was a, an ancient labyrinth of very luxurious Egyptian, uh, what should we call it, cities, ancient underground cities built under the Giza complex. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.